Help Desk, this is Zach speaking. How can I help you? Three, two, one, zero, ignition, lift off. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions, and today I'm talking about another Help Desk scenario. This is the Help Desk episode number three. Thank you for calling the help desk. This is Zach. How can I help you? Um, yeah, you're having an, an issue with the flux capacitor. Um, yeah, let me take a look and see if I can find something on that. Hold on a second. Let me see. Let me do a quick search here and, uh, in our database here, look over here. No, no, okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know the answer. Hang on. Hang on. Hey, do you know anything about the the flux capacitor? Uh, hey, yeah. I'm. I'm sorry. I don't know the answer. I don't. I don't know. Let me. Let me look into it, and I'll get back to you. Okay. I'll look into it right away. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. That is going to be a scenario that you're going to face quite often when you're first starting out in help desk. You're going to be expected to know everything. And the flux capacitor. If you don't know what that is, just go watch Back to the Future. Please do that. It's a great movie. But anyway, you're going to be expected to know everything. Yes, everything. Everything that you get a phone call about, you're going to expect to know the answer. You know, as soon as you pick up that phone and somebody says, I'm having an issue with this Excel document. I can't get this row to align with this column and blah, 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 blah right? Okay, uh, I'm having an issue printing. Okay, you're going to expect to know how to fix all these issues. I'm just throwing out random issues right now, but you're gonna expect it to know everything that comes in, right? Not really. That's really not the case. When you're just starting out, especially, you're not expected to know everything and you're not gonna know everything and that's okay. And being in help desk, you're really not going to know everything and that is okay. You are level one maybe even before level one in some instances. You are there to initiate that contact, initiate maybe some of that troubleshooting, gather a lot of that information, and maybe you can troubleshoot it, maybe you can fix it, but gather that information and move it on, right? But you will face scenarios where people are yelling at you and they expect you to know the answer and they expect you to fix it right now, right there on the spot. And you're not always going to be able to do that. But knowing how to um, overcome that scenario is really going to be helpful for you guys. Because it's really important to know how to deal with that customer when you're in that scenario. Because they're going to be angry, they're going to be upset, their stuff isn't working. And you're going to be frustrated because you don't know the answer. And you're going to be maybe embarrassed that you don't know the answer. You're going to feel terrible that you don't know the answer. And maybe you have to go to your coworker to ask the question sometimes and you're like, oh, I feel so stupid. I don't know the answer, but it's not the case. You, you don't know everything. There's nobody who works in IT who knows everything. You know, you're going to have to use Google. You're going to have to use your coworkers. You're going to have to refer, refer to documentation. Um, you know, like the manuals that that's just part of IT. So dealing with the end user, it's, you know, don't take what I just did in my little scenario. I don't know. I don't know the answer. You don't want to say that to them. You're going to say, well, you know, I I'm, I'm not really seeing anything um, where I can help you right now, but I'm going to look into this further. I'm going to get the answer for you. And we're going to look into this further when, when I have all the information in front of me. You know, you're going to try to delay the fact that you might not know the answer without necessarily telling them you don't know the answer. So whatever kind of way that you can um, delay you fixing that issue, 
without really letting them know that you don't know the answer is going to be your best case scenario, you know? So they're, they're calling, they're reaming you out, um, fix this issue right now. And you're like, well, I have to look into this a little bit further. It's actually a little bit more complicated than you think it is. And there's a couple things that I have to look into on the back end. So let me look into these things on the back end on our systems and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay. And then there might be some things we need to work on together when I call you back. That's, that's really common. That's a really great way to buy yourself time. And buying yourself time in IT is awesome because there's going to be scenarios where you just don't know. There's, it happens to me sometimes. I don't know all the answers. I don't have all the answers. I have to buy myself time sometimes. I have to say, you know, let me look into this a little bit. I have to, you know, look on one of the servers and see if there's something going on. And that might not be the case at all. I might just need a couple minutes to look into Google and see if I can find out what's going on. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But knowing how to deal with that and understanding you coming to that understanding, coming to that realization that you don't know everything is really, really important starting out in help desk, starting out in IT period, because it's really overwhelming. And you don't need to feel that overwhelm that that overwhelming feeling when you're first starting out because you're going to be overwhelmed about everything else anyway but know that you're not expected to know everything you are not expected to know everything your end users are going to expect you to know everything but your coworkers aren't going to expect that your coworkers should not expect that uh, your manager your boss they're not going to expect you to know everything that's just not the way that the real world works. You're not expected to know everything when you're just starting out in IT, when you're just starting out in help desk, level one, things like that. That's not, that's not, that's just not how it works. So that's kind of, you know, this episode on, um, the help desk, you know, kind of learning what you need to know. And this is a really, really important one because, um, there's a lot of people who are just getting in IT and they might get really overwhelmed and really frustrated and just feel like I got to know it all. And if I don't know it, I'm a failure. I hear that all the time, but you're not a failure. You guys can do it. You, you know, take all of these, these things that you may think is I'm a failure because I didn't know the answer. That's a, that's a learning example right there. You know, write down what you didn't know and look into it later. And if you have to move that on to tier two or tier three, you need to write that down and then you can go back to that person that you move that issue onto and say, Hey, what did you do to fix that issue? Can you tell me about it? And then you're gathering more information and that's really, really important. So I hope this helps you guys out. I hope this guys, this gives you guys, um, encouragement because I know you guys can do it and you're going to be fine. And I have faith in all of you guys out there who are going down this route and just starting in this route because it's literally the best way to start out in IT because you are going to dive deep into the waters and get so much information thrown at you either any way that you look at it. So good luck to you. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, hit me up in the comments below. I love to hear from you guys. It makes me so happy when you guys like leave me great comments, bad comments. It doesn't matter. Just hit me up. And, uh, I don't know. That's it. That's all I got for you guys. So, uh, yeah, let's go back to the future. Take it easy.